as you know, I am a trainee optician. My name is James, and um, hopefully today we'll be doing some uh, some tests on you, a, uh, a mock exam, if you will. Now, don't worry, I've done this many, 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 many times before, but um, it's always good to get it in the actual setting on a real person, and um, today we're going to be focusing on some low light tests, okay? So, we've turned all the main lights in the office off. It means you can focus more on uh, the charts or the lights that will be shining into your eyes. And uh, it makes your eyes more sensitive to light, which is great for us. Now, on top of looking in your eyes and um, getting you to read some, uh, some things off the chart, we're also going to be using the slit lamp over there to really get a good look at the back of your eyes. It's one of the hardest bits of kit to use, so any practice with that is um, is really valuable to me. Okay, well, I'm just going to start by doing a, uh, a basic exam, for which I will need some gloves. Now, this is just a preliminary sort of precaution check. Uh, usually, if a patient has had a, an injury, obviously we'd, we'd be looking out for signs of healing, but otherwise it's just to see if there's any kind of redness or soreness or irritation, signs of infection, uh, any obvious things before we get into the minutia. Okay. Now, firstly, I'm going to be coming quite close to you, and I'm going to be touching your face. Is that okay? Okay, good. Uh, do you have any soreness in either of your eyes? Any redness, uh, scratchy feeling, irritation, anything like that? Okay, so they, they're feeling good health. Yeah. All right. And now I'm just going to be gently pressing on your lids and pulling them down. Uh, let me know if I'm hurting you at any point. I will of course be very gentle. And I'm just gonna very gently lift up your upper lid, okay? I'm just gonna lift the upper lid. And I don't see any uh, inflamed blood vessels or any gunk in the side of your eyes or discharge, which is good. Let's do this side. Yeah, same over here. The tear ducts look to be healthy. They're not inflamed. Okay, good. Now I'm going to do what's called palpating the orbital rim, which is just a really wash way of saying pressing around this bit of your eye, the orbital rim. Now, I'd just like you to let me know if you feel any tenderness or soreness when I press in these areas, okay? Yep. So far, so good. your eyes. I'm not going to gently press on top of your eyelid. It shouldn't hurt, but I'm just feeling for a set amount of pressure. If there's um, any kind of inflammation or growth behind the eye pushing out, then this would be extremely painful and also a lot more rigid to, uh, to press down. So I'm looking for a set consistency and sort of resistance when I do this to make sure that uh, the pressure behind your eyes is where it should be. Okay, and it feels like it is. Okay, I'm just gonna very lightly spray uh, your eyes. Uh, this won't hurt any. 
it shouldn't be uncomfortable, but it's it's just gonna put a little bit of dye into them. We're just gonna dilate them and make it easier for me to see what I'm doing, okay? shine this light into your eye, okay? I'm also going to press uh, with my hand and just lift up your lid, okay? This also gives me a gauge of how close I am to you. Obviously, when I can feel my hand, I know I'm getting uh, really close. Now, I can change the aperture on this and uh, focus in on the back of your eye. focusing on the wall or on my ear. And I'm just going to be moving in quite close. And finding the vein, following it back to the retina. Good. And adjusting the focus as I go. some instructions. Okay, if you could first start by looking up. That's good, that's good, that's good. All right, now I'll look down. Over to your left. 
one of your eyes and start by covering this one. And using just your other eye, just follow the light. Okay. Just following the light. Good. Fantastic. Okay, let's switch. Let's cover this one now. Okay, and just following the light. Very, very good. You are doing fantastic. Well done. simple. I would just like you to read back to me the letters on the screen, okay? I'll just find the remote. Okay, ready. And off you go. Yep. 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 Keeping the other eye covered. Very good. switch focus onto this eye. Okay, keeping that eye covered. Same again. I'm just going to cycle through the chart and uh, you just report back what you see, okay? one. 
slit lamp. Now, there are uh, two lenses for me to look through here. I can cycle between apertures here. And you need to just place your chin on the chin rest here. So just go ahead and pop your chin there. And now, you want to adjust that until you can see the uh, red dot in front of you. Can you see the red dot? straight back to the center. on the back of the eyes. So far so good. Just realign this. And then pop this. Alright. I'm just going to look in the other eye now. Again, looking at my ear on this side. up. Mm -hmm. 
left. try third line from the bottom. This is where it starts getting difficult. Just give it your best guess if you don't know. Okay. There we are, second line from the bottom. Okay. And we'll just attempt the bottom line, but I wouldn't expect you to. Let's do the other eye. Position about a meter. Can you see that? Okay. Alright, ready? It's starting at the top. Easy, and the second line.
full exam, but this is an eclectic group just specifically looking at the, the backs of your eyes and a little bit of your vision, but uh, I hope that wasn't too unpleasant and I really appreciate it again uh, coming in and allowing us to practice like this. It is essential for making great opticians. Great, well, we always need volunteers in the future, so don't hesitate to come back. Brilliant, and we will sort you out with a free pair of classes for your time. <laughs>